Every day, you and I unwittingly act in dozens of never-ending films, all thanks to the unstoppable spread of security cameras. With camera after camera tracking our every public move, it was only a matter of time before somebody worked out how to have a bit of fun with it. And it's called video sniffing, the art of intercepting live CCTV footage, and it's giving birth to a brand new kind of filmmaking. Video sniffing first emerged in the last few years primarily from the UK, a country with an estimated 4.2 million CCTV cameras, the highest density of any nation in the world. One of the earliest examples came in 2007 from a group of street kids who wrote a small script to act out in front of their local cameras and then they intercepted the wirelessly transmitted footage and edited it into a film. So, how does it work? Well, with this thing, this is a wireless personal video recorder. We bought this online for like 100 bucks, and all you need to do is cycle through the channels until you find something. It's a little bit like playing this giant game of hot and cold. All you're looking for is a shape in the static, something that'll give you a sense of a landmark. And then once you find that, it's kind of about triangulating it, which is actually just a fancy way of saying you wander around in circles a lot. <laughs> Legally speaking, video sniffing is a very grey, untested area. It seems that in certain circumstances, intercepting a camera feed without consent could be breaking Australian law, and the copyright in the footage always belongs to the owner. But they still have to advise you that they're filming, which a lot of them don't. And yes, all of these very confused shop owners did give us permission. Curiously, we may even have a right to access the images we feature in. I was wandering around uh, Central Station yesterday and I noticed you guys had a lot of security cameras. Is there a way that we could request that footage? And after some particularly bad hold music, I was told that I could access the footage by making a freedom of information request. It's this that sits right at the heart of the first feature film made entirely by CCTV. Faceless is an eerie 50 minute science fiction flick set in a dystopian future where time itself has been banned, leaving everyone in a state of permanent present. The filmmaker Manu Lukst spent four years performing on the London streets in front of CCTV cameras, then going through the protracted process of requesting the images from the camera's owners. Most sent her CDs or videotapes with the faces of the other passers-by blanked out. In one instance, though, a bank printed out a copy of every single frame, leaving Luke with a mountain of paper. The other faces had been cut out with nail scissors. Whether it's the high art of faceless or the fart assing of street kids, we may well be looking at the beginning of a lo-fi cinematic resistance movement. The rise of surveillance culture means our faces, our movements, our daily choices no longer belong to only us. Video sniffing is about playing Big Brother at his own game, about forcibly taking back control over not just your privacy, but who controls your image. Because not everyone is lucky enough to be born with a giant black dot for a face.